Good afternoon world. So I'm coming to you live from Venice. <laughs> so um, I said afternoon because it actually is afternoon because we did not start this day early. I don't know if you guys know, but you know, as you're on a trip after a while, things are just slow down because you start to get tired from jumping and bouncing and all that. So that's pretty much what's happening. We're just starting to get a little tired, a little worn. So we move on a little slower, a little later sleeping a little bit more so um today we're gonna leave and try to get to the center try <laughs> we're not sure where we're going i'm not sure what we're doing but try to get to the center hopefully we could get over to another island i think we just want to see the center see the the grand canal um the see where the the gondolas are if we can manage a gun uh gondola gondola <laughs> If we can manage a gondola ride, then we'll do that. If not, then we just head over to Burano, which is one of those colorful places. I don't know if you guys would have seen it online. It's one of those islands that um, is a really colorful. All of the buildings are really colorful and we really look forward to seeing that. So we're gonna do that. Somehow we're gonna work out how to do that. So that's our plan. We're leaving now, it's after 3 p.m. But we know the sun ain't going down till 9 p.m. So why not so we're out guys i'll see you later so we are officially on our way we took some time just to leave the house because i'm not sure exactly how to get there i just was trying to watch the the um the stuff that my host left for us to try to understand and it seems as if we have to catch a bus to an area and then a boat to get over to the mainland like we just about to wing it right now, ask people, I guess, and just try to get there because based on how frustrated I was getting just now, I was ready to just say like, you know, forget it, Venice another year, another time, I've been there, and just say like, okay, I was in Venice, but I don't want to give up that easily, so we're going to try this thing still. So we just made it to um, Piazza Roma, to the place where we have to normally catch the water bus to go to um, Venice. If I tell you we know where we're going, I'd be lying. <laughs> like a man just gave us information, but I got conned out already where another one offered information when we were in um, Rome. And then they wanted like a tip after, so it was like, okay, thanks. And I'm uh, just going to ask somebody else who not trying to give information as sense to make money. but. It's a little confusing here right now, to be honest. It's busy, confusing, all these type of things. Okay, so we just got ourselves some tickets. So apparently in order to make it to Burano, we have to pass on the island of Murano first. So I guess we'll just walk around and see what Murano is about. Murano is all about... Um, normally glass so it's an island that produces pretty glass um, vases and I guess I don't know what trinkets I don't know what what word to use but that's what um, Murano is about while Burano is about more about lace is it right? or is it opposite? so that's supposed to be it <laughs> yeah so right now we were told yeah so we have to go catch one and then the other and um, once we're there, I guess we'll figure out how to get back to over here or to San Barco. So here it is now. 
so Kenisha gone to wait in line. And we didn't think about waiting in line because we went on this, I don't know, sorry, it's one of the waiting areas for the um, boat, the water bus. But it like on the water state moving, so she was like, we should come up because of your motion sickness, which made sense. I was like, yes, yes. But then now we realize that people are already gone in, so there's form in line now. But I can't go in, in the line because anything close to that have me moving and that's going to have me upset. And the problem is that I didn't think about that when thinking about, okay, we have to catch a, a boat. I didn't think about taking my motion sickness pills and already I'm getting kind of hungry. So that's not going to work to, together at all. I mean, when I was in um, Milos, he told me that the trick is to keep watching the horizon and not like watch it in the boat like watch outside so i'm gonna pretty much try that and hope that it's not too bad because it's a 20 minute ride so happy with me because i want to enjoy this experience but if i'm feeling sick it won't be that enjoyable first stop which is Murano thought about walking around change my mind I just want to get straight to Burano this place is too hot too hot too hot so we're gonna do Burano and then hopefully we get to see um San Marco area and then we head back home because we have an early flight once again while the other boat was coming this is what pretty much um Murano is known for it's the island of glass so they make so many things out of glass some more and they even make like cups or glasses out of glass of course <laughs> So, yeah, so we're just gonna walk around, look at the lace, because I, as I said, this is a place, um, this island is the one known for um, lace, as the other one is known for glass. So, we're just gonna walk around, check out the houses, and just look at the view and see what there is um, on this island to offer. comes to us with like enough to feed a, a little child and then secondly I know we talk about al dente we're in, we're in Italy so of course pasta is al dente this is not al dente this is the spaghetti that, yeah yeah that hit the water for like one minute one minute I just was out like I could taste the crunch like from in the package but you know what can happen still right what can happen, Kay? She can still eat it. I can still eat it. I mean, they charge a 16 euro for this plate of barely any food. Of course, I can eat it. I'm hungry. 
But the same way I anticipated, a taller than a taller than Let me show you what's up. So this is a portion. I don't know if on camera it's looking like a lot, but it's actually not. Okay? My niece could eat this. But you know what? God is good. Amen. Okay, so we are coming to you live from day two in Utrecht. So we just got up and got ready, ate something, and we are on our way on the boat on the canal. We are heading to the um, the central part, as in the town, <laughs> the town, the center. <laughs> so we are heading to the center right now. There is our captain. <laughs> there What's is a captain. captain. What's a captain? <laughs> There's our captain. So we are enjoying a beautiful view. This is definitely different compared to what we would have experienced in the other places. We had beaches, we had the city. So now this is a lot more calm and relaxed and we are gonna enjoy it while we can because we know that once we get to Rotterdam, it's gonna be a lot more hectic, a lot more busy. So yeah. So look out for what we are gonna be doing today. to the city center as you guys can see probably behind me and we are gonna be walking through a little bit just see what the place is like and we might go to the dome tower that he um, Bart told us about so if we have time we'll try to check that out as well and see what else there is to discover so we made it to the area of the tower not sure if we're gonna go inside but this is the tower it's obviously under um, construction or they're fixing certain things so yeah so imagine I tried to convince Kenisha for us to go get a pedal boat and just go through these streets of Utrecht and she's like no why you say no because we need to have fat in our body when we go back to mountain all this walking already taken away from it the cab is going on. Then the cab is going to be huge. And it's okay. are, have I have fat that I could donate. <laughs> if she's looking for some, I definitely have fat to give away. So I could have your sister out. Okay, I can help you. I can help you. But we are just walking. We kind of want to go to H&M. So we're just walking through the streets to here. We pretty much have like a an hour left before we catch our ride back through the canal it's a half an hour already wow half an hour left so after here we'll be just heading back to where we came from and then we'll see what else we can do throughout the day we might be relaxing not to be honest but let's see so we walk through the town the city the center center is the word we walk through the center we even stopped in some stores and stuff. We didn't really stop to get anything to eat because since we were on like the one hour and a half time, time what? I don't know. Time, time whatever, <laughs> schedule, time frame, whatever. We didn't really like stop like that. We tried to walk as much as we could and we walked to the store that we wanted to walk to. But we had to make sure that we were back here on time to meet Bart. So we actually were like power walking to get here. And we got here two minutes late, but I don't think that he showed up as yet. And I'm not sure if one of those boats coming is him. It pretty much takes him his time, so he can be coming slowly, but surely. So we're just chilling by the canal, just relaxing here, looking at the water, enjoying the weather, because the sun has gone down a little bit right now. So we just enjoying that. And then we're home and probably gonna take the bicycles and head out and get something to eat and kind of maybe relax today. I think that's the plan. So apparently they said that 
um, Trudy them explained to us that yesterday, I think it was yesterday, they were in the water, swimming and stuff. And they said that the water is actually clean. Now, Kanisha is also agreeing with that, saying that it's what? It's clean. It's just the thing underneath is the color that you see. It's clear water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no thanks. It's okay. She said they actually like cleaned out some of the stuff that was there in order for them to go in with some kids and stuff. So they cleaned it out and all of that. But, um, mm -mm, mm -mm, I'll pass on it, you know? So here are the boats that were coming. None of them are Bart. So I guess he's running a little late. So Barty Bart showed up late, like over half an hour late, but he made it. All right, guys, so we are talking about the color of this water, and Bart is convinced that the water is what, clean? It's pretty clean. Pretty clean, so let's see. We're going to test it out and see um, by scooping up some in a glass of water. Let's go. Oh, I told you, I told you. <laughs> it is actually clean. clean. <laughs> that water looks so dirty, guys. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Look like pond water. <laughs> I wouldn't drink it, but still. <laughs> so cool though. There's probably also rats near, <laughs> near like near every house. I mean, if you live, uh, if you, if you live in New York or something, then there's a rat, a rats everywhere. Okay. I mean, wherever you live, there's always there's always rats. <laughs> Not reassuring at all, okay? He's trying to tell me that there are rats in the water. They're more afraid of you. <laughs> I, I'm not convinced that they are. No, no, no. We're almost there? Yeah. Let's see the, the other bike. Oh. So which... Uh, oh, so that's... Which, yeah. That's the other boat? I don't know. I don't know if I saw it this way. I don't think I paid attention. <laughs> it's okay. Just like that we go. All right, so we are getting ready to leave the house again. To send we're on bicycles. We're going to go um, check something to eat there now. So, yes, it's just about food again. You know, food run. We hungry. We haven't eaten since morning. You know, Kenny should whip up that good breakfast. You know, had us yeah. go and take a break for the day. Mm -hmm. But also, no more, no more sign languages. Our <laughs> ex was, it was our it was. <laughs> Anyway, so we have to look for something to eat now, and then we hoping that we could get a ride on the canal like tonight. Like I whispered because I really want the um, my whole son to like take us for a nighttime ride. But um, let's see, let's see. So we are set and ready to go. Yeah, so we got to the restaurant, right? And I've just been working on my Dutch. And I've been, I think I've been doing the thing, you know? It's been terrible. Listen, don't take me nowhere with you, Alan, because my pronunciation. It's zero. I imagine how my students feel when they try to read French. <laughs> this, is, this is horrible. I don't know what to say. Not in this <laughs> Alright, let's 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 do the class. Alright, this word Kenisha wants me to read is pronounced Wieselende. Whistland. Mm? Whistland. <laughs> Whistland. It's an E. You have to pronounce the E. Whist Duh. What? Whistland. Not da. <laughs> da. Whistland. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that wasn't bad. That one was easy. That was that easy. That was really easy though. I say most of these words for you already. And that don't mean I remember that in Dutch class with Kenisha. You can't even say that one either. Yeah, I can. I just have to say the last piece to make sure. This one, you see she wants to just put me out in the water. This one at the bottom here. Grand 
Grote rochten. Wat? Grote rochten. Is dat O en dat I? Wat dat betekent? Dat is een growing. Gewoon. Gewoon. Rochten. Rochten. Is cool. Huh? Cool. Oh, je kan weer cool. Exactly. Kroon. Kroon te... Kroon What? Kroon te... Like croquettes. 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 Kroon te croquettes. I give up. Listen, and here right now, I should like lay, lay, like I'm supposed to know how to pronounce it. Like, I ever had a class. So, Dutch. I thought I just know the man bring this thing for us, right? <laughs> I thought her say bedank. She was like, say bedank. <laughs> I was like, I tell you, say bedank. I don't know what she said later on together. <laughs> Shock. Bedank. Okay? Mm -hmm. Bedank. Bedank a dunk. <laughs> I can't have a tea at the end, but don't. Yes. Anyway, so we're gonna eat. Run place. Now, what he said, she said, bitter barley. Yes, but it's close to it. Yes, yeah, so I really want to eat that. I really, really want to eat that. So, we're gonna have that and then a burger with fries. You know. So, this is what we got to eat our burgers with a little salad. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna be having today. We've been longing for burgers and fries. We actually wanted fast food, but we this is much better anyway, so we shall be back. So we made it back home safely after eating. And although it's a little early, it's only like minutes to six, I am definitely ending the vlog at this exact moment because it's all about rest tonight. I think we deserve it. We 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 definitely need it. So we're just gonna freshen up and just spend the night just relaxing. I also have to work on the vlog that's coming out tomorrow, God's Five. In my world. <laughs> so I do have to work on a vlog, so I'm gonna take time to do that as well. To prepare so it's ready for its release. Besides that, just gonna probably go to bed pretty early and catch up on some series. Just do a little bit of me stuff, you know, have a little me time to things that I wanna do and then go to bed so that's all for this one we out